All right, everyone. Namaste ji. How's everybody doing today? Welcome to yet another winter vlog. <laughs> so, uh, this vlog is going to be slightly different from our usual vlogs in the sense that, uh, you know, we've covered pretty much all facets, facets of uh, mountain travel, you know, be it uh, soft adventures like hiking or off-roading, uh, farming, um, you know, exploring hidden uh, gems, you know, all kinds of adventures. Uh, but the one thing that we have never really touched on uh, within Himachal is uh, luxury. And uh, the next two days, or the next two nights, are all going to be about luxury. What do you say, Bharti? Well, it's about damn time, don't you think? <laughs> All right, so here we are in the most Instagrammable spot in all of Himachal, Glam Pico. Isn't this freaking amazing? Like, look at that sunset, guys. Right? Just like, I mean, come on, like some shafts of God happening. <laughs> anyway, so we walked in and we've actually really been wanting to come here when it's completely covered in snow. And uh, we're lucky that we managed to get uh, two nights out here. And we just met uh, Akshat and Shilpi. They are two of the four founders of this amazing super property. And uh, we had some nice kara with them, the immunity. And we're just gonna go and check into our super awesome new room. Mm -hmm. Yep. What do you think, Oh, it's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> that view is just to die for. Mm. <laughs> Thank you, Rahul. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> We've got some check-in gifts. Oh, nice. Oh, I love the color on that. Dear Bharti and Rohan, wishing you the best for the upcoming year. Love, Glam Pico. How sweet, guys. <laughs> The concept behind Glam Pico has been inspired by a property in South America called Eco Camps Patagonia. Those guys are basically the pioneers in uh, sustainable yet luxurious uh, living. So uh, basically these guys have seven domes out here on the property. Uh, the entire property is actually like on this very steep, I think maybe 60 degree incline. You get like maximum view and you know nothing is there to block your field of vision. And even for like us, like we've lived in Manali now for a really long time, but to wake up to see this view, I mean like it's just amazing. Like I don't feel I'm in Manali right now. I literally feel I'm on holiday. <laughs> so I don't think I'll be wrong in saying that uh, this is definitely the most Instagrammable place in uh, Himachal. Uh, maybe the country for that matter because they have a hundred k followers on Instagram. And uh, it goes to show man that uh, there are a lot of people who have been here and are dreaming to come here. Uh, I know for a fact that every celebrity, every musician, every artist that comes to Manali definitely stays over here. And uh, yeah, it goes to show a lot about uh, the vibe of this place, man. So uh, let's get into a few details about this entire dome. 
You have uh, this corner, which is basically the vanity section, and uh, you know your chai, pani, coffee, kettle, all that kind of some storage space over here as well, and uh, nice little submarine windows over here. Even the doors are you know properly vacuum sealed, and uh, it's properly insulated inside, outside. Um, the bed uh, was pretty comfy last night, goes without saying, uh, but it comes with an electric blanket. Uh, last night was pretty much like a hot massage, you know, <laughs> before we went to the bed. Just slept in a t-shirt and uh, shorts. Uh, also, if you have like a third person, there's an extra bed that pulls out from underneath this bed, which I think is a really, really cool quirk. For heating, you have like one radiator, one graphite heat over there, and even the curtains are out here, they're insulated, you know so uh, keeps it really really warm at night but during the day just because of the sunlight coming in it's pretty warm you don't need to turn on any heaters so this is the loo they have a proper shower cabinet over here which is great because you know you don't get the rest of the toilet wet uh, they also have a bio toilet which we will get into later and uh, overall there's a lot of space and uh, feels very very premium here yeah? Other than the dome, there are a lot of little nooks around the property where you can, you know, find these really cozy little chill spots. Um, this, where we're standing right now, is an 80-year-old mud house that came with the property and these guys have refurbished it. And uh, basically, it's now divided, like the ground floor is the kitchen and uh, the common loos. And on the first floor, you have the staff quarter and also this common chilling area, which I think is more the adulting zone in the property because you can sit and work here they have really good Wi-Fi there's a library so you can sit in the Sun and read a book or if you just want to hang around have a coffee and soak in the view like this is a great spot and just the little little details that they have like scattered all around you know like little photographs little artwork quirky messages just adds like such a nice personal touch to the whole space so that was the glamorous part about living at this property but it is called Glamp Eco and uh, the ecological part of it is equally if not more important than the fancy part of it, you know. There are two aspects of making a place eco-friendly. Have less impact and then contribute to the community. So I would say the impact part starts with managing your waste. All the wet waste that is generated is fed to all the cows of Sethan village <laughs> and all the dry waste is collected and sent to the waste management plant in town. All the lights in the entire property are powered using these massive solar panels. They do have generators as backup but this is like their main source of electricity. We don't allow any single-use items, so no plastic bottles, no single-use toiletries, no Maggie. Our guests are really angry at that, why don't we give Maggie? But we are very particular that this is, if you can create something more sustainable, why not give a better option, you know? Um, and then, you know, sewage or let's say waste that is produced from the domes. So instead of that, collecting in a septic time, which is something very an, of, of a norm in the mountains. So we have introduced biodigesters. Um, a bio toilet basically has a biodigester below it, which contains a lot of good bacteria and enzymes and stuff, which process all the waste. And all that's left is grey water, which is actually really good to irrigate the orchard outside. We have small local businesses here, like we have the dhaba there. So we kind of studied and spoke to Uncle Auntie that what are they doing, what is it that sells for them fastest. We worked out our kitchen menu in a way where we're not affecting their business at all. At all. So whatever local delicacies that we have, we did not put those in our menu. We use that place as providing a local experience also to our guests and that's how we even promote it. So they also have this uh, small little cafe out here where we were last night and man it was so gorgeously lit last night it was all like very Christmassy feeling uh, full-on mountain vibes you know and uh, while one part of the you know uh, staff was cooking for us uh, there was another part of the staff that was singing for us like you know local Himachali songs really nice mountain vibes I think the temperature was around zero degrees but inside it was so nice and cozy we had some other guests from all around the country as well and uh, you know we had some uh, mulled wine some pasta and uh, yeah after a while Akshat was like no man we need to bring this party up so yeah he got out some tequila and then tell me why I never want to hear you say I want it that way that's it that's it <laughs> 
शुक्रिया शुक्रिया when you are in a place like glam pico i know it's very very easy uh, to just bum around in your nice warm little dome but uh, i think when you do go and push yourself just a little bit <laughs> to go on these short little hikes i think you'll enjoy that uh, electric blanket a lot more once you come back <laughs> One thing that I actually would want the guest to take back from here is the feeling of outdoors. Right? The feeling of actually being there in that moment, which is the reason we came here. You know, we didn't come here to open a place, a hotel. Uh, we came here to experience nature ourselves and that is exactly what we want to import in part. I I want people to actually learn the best parts of it and not just the glamorous part of it, also the eco part of it and apply that knowledge. and we are always open to share that knowledge of how you can make your places more eco friendly so 10 15 years from now i would see i would want to see places like eco camp opening up all across india and you know like india sort of lead, leading the way of uh, being a sustainable tourism place than catching up from it All right, guys. So that uh, is the end of our two days out here in Glampico, Sethan Village. Uh, we had a wonderful time. Uh, what a great balance between, you know, being uh, completely out there in the wilderness, in nature, and having luxury at the same time. And uh, if you are coming to Manali, this is definitely one of those must-visit places. Uh, we highly, highly recommend it. And uh, you know, it doesn't matter which season. It could be summer, spring, winter, fall. Every season has a charm of its own. So that's it for this one. Until the next one, Mustaji.